to the most successful team on campus, ASU women's basketball. Upcoming this weekend, it's the formerly dreaded Bay Area road trip with Cal and Stanford. Until ASU's regular season sweep of Stanford last season, there hadn't been a team in the conference to take two from the Cardinal since the 1987-88 season. That is any conference opponent. Now they have the chance to do it in back-to-back -back years. And for more on this, we're going to shift the power with Bailey O'Carroll, our ASU women's basketball analyst. But before we talk about Stanford, we're going to talk about last weekend. UCLA and USC gave ASU a tough time, a couple more close games. Is this helping ASU with all these close contests they're having? I think it is. It's going to better prepare them for their later uh, games, especially once they get into the tournament into March postseason. But, you know, I think that Sophie Bruner said one of the main things that helped them out was their experience. If you see here, she's able to stay focused, keep her eye on that basket, and get fouled, get sent to the line. This foul kind of looked a little effy, kind of could have gone either way over the back. Could have been all ball, you see there. But regardless, got to the line, made her free throw, and was able to help her team on to a win. So now this weekend, Cal and Stanford. Stanford is the one that everybody circles on the schedule. What's the difference now? I mean, two wins last season, the regular season. Yes, Stanford knocked them out in the Pac-12 tournament, but is it Stanford getting weaker, ASU getting stronger, or a mix of both? What's going on? I think it's a mix of both. You know, they're kind of able to – I don't think either one's necessarily gotten weaker. I think ASU's kind of stepped up a little bit. It's kind of even the playing field. But regardless, you know, ASU has won those last three games against Stanford, and I think they're going to take a fourth one this weekend. So this weekend, what has to change from the defensive – uh, output last week. I mean, UCLA and USC, they really had some open looks there, and you got one to show us here as well. Yeah, if they make those same mistakes again, Stanford's going to make them pay a lot more than USC did. USC's a little younger. Stanford is a little bit older, more experienced. If you see on these plays that I'm going to show you, they cut. Oh, that's the wrong play. Not a well, play. Here, we'll, but we'll look at the Stanford yeah. recent success. <laughs> things happen. Here we go. Yeah, so if you see here, they kind of leave Quinn all alone right there. There is no one to help her on that weak side. You see Sabrina Haynes, Arnesia Hawkins, they're kind of just standing there watching. If they get caught in that again against Stanford, they're going to make them pay it. Again, like I said earlier, it's not going to be good. So if they can limit those defensive mistakes, I think they'll be good for Stanford. So they just need to be more active. Exactly. All right, so be sure to check out Bailey's coverage this weekend as well as our entire team on CronkiteSports.com for all of your ASU women's basketball coverage. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks.